Hello, uh, this is Ian Thompson, and I have a session with you on the Fisher change curve. Um, you will find we have another video on a simpler format, which may be easier to get your mind around, uh, but this one is a little bit more complex. And so John Fisher is a psychologist uh, in England, and he's done a lot of work on construct theory. So our whole world is made up of constructs, not least of which is how we construct ourselves as human beings in the workplace. And so he has developed this model of change um, to help us understand what happens to individuals in the organization. So the change has been announced. Yay! Somebody at the top thinks it's a great idea. And of course, it doesn't always land well with others. So without any great surprise, you know, we find out that there is a degree of anxiety already developing within one or two or maybe more um, people. So it starts with an element of anxiety. And this is because we are perhaps feeling a little out of control. Um, we don't have a full understanding of what's going to happen. We don't have this picture of ourselves operating in this new environment environment somewhere in the future. So there's a degree of anxiety. But you know this as we start talking with people and people start to tell us about the positive side of this, there's some element perhaps of happiness. You know, we know everything's not great in the business. We know that things could change and it would be for the better. So yeah, maybe there's a moment or two where we get enthused um, about what other people are saying. And we feel that, yes, the, the future could be full of great expectations. And then perhaps it won't. And so we start to go on a downward curve and perhaps we start to have some fear. And so with the fear, it's that, that, you know, there's nothing happening yet. There's nothing that's going to tell me I'm going to do badly. I just have this fear that things will not go well for me. Oh my goodness, but it's now getting worse. And in comes things actually starting to happen, and I am now threatened. So one, I had a fear, but now it's all beginning to cascade in on me, and I am now fearful that I won't be up to the job, that I won't be able to learn things that are needed for this new way. But it's perhaps sometimes more important than that, that who I am at the moment in the organization I won't be that anymore. You know, that person you come to because I have a lot of information and all the information disappears onto a database and nobody comes to talk to me anymore. You know, my very personality, my very identity might be threatened by this. And so I start to worry about what's going to happen. And that takes us potentially into a place of guilt. Now, throughout this process, we have probably had some element of anger through these spaces here. The problem is that we started off perhaps angry at others, but now the anger is at self. Perhaps I didn't deal with this as well as I could have done. Perhaps I could have done better in engaging with the process and coping better with what was going on. And that could then take us into a place of depression.
and I get a little bit depressed because I'm still confused. I lack motivation. I'm still seriously uncertain about the future. And most importantly, if I'm really going to fit in to that future. Some people don't go through this to any great extent. You know, it's almost like it just goes by and then I'm moving into something much more useful, which will be gaining acceptance, gradual acceptance. Not all at once. Maybe I'm having better conversations with my boss. Maybe I'm going through some training. And as I'm exploring this area, I begin to think maybe I can exist in this new environment. Maybe I can be a different me and be able to cope with what's in front of me. So gradual acceptance and then over time, yay, I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. It's all beginning to happen. I like this new role. I like what's happening and I'm no longer fearful. The threats are beginning to fall away. I'm learning how to do the job and I'm good at it. And so therefore I've built my confidence back up and the person who was here just before anxiety, you know, having gone through this process, I find myself in a new position doing different things, but I'm equally confident. And so we can imagine that the curve is something like this. Now, there are a couple of sidelines to this one. Um, and the first one I'm going to mention is we could go into denial. So somewhere about here, you know, I'm not going to go into fear and threat. I'm just going to deny this whole thing exists. Now, if you look at the Kubler-Ross model, you see that um, this is one of the options that we have at this point. But in this model, it's more serious because we just reside there. And the company eventually has to do something about this. And perhaps one of those things is to let the person go. Another place we could find ourselves, somewhere down you know, in where this threat and guilt you know, perhaps we could find ourselves going into being disillusioned. Disillusioned. Yeah. And we choose for ourselves. It's time for us to go. And then the third one, which you might think about, is we're down here somewhere, and I just end up being a very hostile, sad person running around, complaining about everything, not making a positive contribution. And again, it's a time for me to think and for the company to think about moving me on because I'm no longer of any use to the company and I can't see how I fit into the new regime. The Fisher Change Curve. I have more information on the website. You'll be able to get it as a download. Have a good change day.